Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless love reading. This is a collective love reading for all signs. If you found this reading, this message is for you and any sign of the person that you may be thinking of, you can also include in your thoughts. Please use these readings to manifest the love that you are worthy and deserving of or to confirm a love that's come into your life. Let's call in our spirit guide. Spirit, if you can please share with me any loving messages that are meant to be heard today. What is it that you want us to know or manifest today? Be reminded of, be thinking of. I am listening for you now. Let's start with some animal spirit messages. Let's see what we have. I have a dolphin spirit, the number 20. This and that are true. So I love dolphin energy. I mean, I don't know anybody who doesn't like a dolphin, but they're very family, right? I mean, they're very, um, they love their family. They stick together, you know. So just a reminder to keep your family close and that they're always going to be by your side and that loving, playful energy, you know, with your family, I think is really important. Let's see what else they have. I have the number three, an armadillo spirit, set healthy boundaries. Maybe they're saying we have to set healthy boundaries around that family. For some of us, some of us, we have family members that cross the line and they interfere with your, um, you know, peace of mind or there's something that they say or do that is upsetting. So we're allowed to have boundaries, but at the same time, you know, you want to have that playfulness when you can and, and enjoy your family as much as you can. And then I have the number 66, a white raven spirit. Trust in the magic. Love. I love this. I love this feeling of like, never stop believing. Okay. Um, you know, trust in the magic um, feelings and, you know, because it, it is, it does exist. Um, and it does, it is real. You know, there's a lot of people out there um, that you don't ever want to give up on the belief that you deserve to be loved, that your perfect person is out there, that you're going to be happy the same as other people are happy. You know, you don't ever want to give up on that. So we, we really, especially here on my channel, you, we are never, ever going to give up on believing in love and that everyone is worthy and deserving of love. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. I'm so grateful Spirit has guided you here today. Please remember to hit that like button. Um, it really helps um, the channels, not just myself, but any of the very gifted, talented readers here on YouTube. Um, lots of energy goes into the readings, the time, our cards, um, the displays, uh, the uploading. Um, so the like button is just a way of saying thank you for our time. So I do appreciate that. And then I love reading your comments, of course. Spirit, please share with me. Trust in the magic. Never give up. We're always going to believe in love. We're never going to stop believing in true love. And what is it that you have for us? I have a three of wands. Look at arms wide open. You guys who watch me all the time, that is definitely a card that's like arms wide open, right? I am ready to receive. I am ready to receive. Um, you know, it's so important. It's so important to be available emotionally. You have to be in a time and a space in your life that you really want love, that you are ready for it, that you have the love to give and you want to put the time and effort in just the same as you. Somebody wants to put time and effort into you. So it does work both ways. Look at this beautiful two of cups. How gorgeous. Uh, it's almost a feeling of like, look at the way they're holding their arms together under the water and their tails are intertwined. But how it came into me is I found you, uh, you know, like I finally found you, um, you know, it, it's just so beautiful. Um because I, I just love this energy of I found you. I mean, I, um, I, I really love this feeling of I was ready to receive. I opened my heart. I opened my soul. I kept manifesting. And then spirit brings this beautiful, loving energy into your life. And it's, it's you just look at each other and you're just saying, I can't believe I found you. I can't believe you found me. You know, however, however this energy comes into your life, but it did come into me as, you know, literally, 
I found you. And so I love this intertwined uh, two of cups. How beautiful. And let's see what else they're saying. And I have a fool. So this is a new journey. This is a new journey. This feels like new love. This feels like I am ready to get something started with you. And I love I love this. Look at these bees down here. Just um, I want to look at this card a little bit closer because um, I don't know. These bees are like working together. It's almost as if it's almost as if we're creating something together. And, you know, whether we're cre creating a home, we're creating a, um, you know, I want to say hive, but I'm going to go with home. Um, but we're creating something together. So, and we're working together. I, I really like that, that, you know, that busy bee energy um, that, you know, maybe we have busy lives and we figure it out. You know, we just, both are really, really busy, but somehow we find time for each other. We always find time for each other, something like that. A wheel of fortune. Boy, this this reading is really um, going to be beautiful. I got to tell you, I can feel the energy already because this is very much a feeling of synchronicity. Okay, the way I had said I found you, uh, you guys know. And I think most of you that follow me also believe the same thing, that there's no coincidences and things happen miraculously in our lifetime. And you can say things about what are the chances of us meeting or if I hadn't gone to that event or I hadn't gone to that bar, I would have never met you. I didn't want to go. And then I went and I met you, you know, so those types of things just fall into the bucket of fate and destiny um, align, right? And, and that's really what we're talking about with that wheel of fortune, that, that, uh, that wheel of fortune comes into our life and it's really just kind of out of our control and it's kind of spirit's way of saying, Hey, I've got something for you. I've got something special for you. I have an elder of water. So this beautiful energy of, um, a cup of energy, right? And uh, an energy of emotion, right? Also, I'm going to put it in the category only because it's elder. I'm going to say mature love, okay? I'm going to say, doesn't mean that you're old, but I'm going to say somebody who is emotionally mature, okay? Which, you know what? Sign me up for, the, let's claim that. <laughs> I like to claim something every day. I want to claim two things so far. I want to claim I found you. I finally found you. And I want to claim emotionally um, mature. I want to claim that this person is ready to have a relationship. This person um, is available emotionally to have a relationship. So if that's something that's important to you, comment below. Let that be a claim today. Um, and um, I want to I want to find you and I want you to be emotionally secure for sure. Let's see what they're saying. Whispers of love spirit. What is my heart whispering? What is my heart saying? Tenderness having a gentle spirit and being able to care deeply, a real deal, a good match, but also a tender heart, a gentle heart. How about somebody filled with kindness or caring or just a kind soul, somebody who treats you right, you know, somebody who thinks about your feelings, somebody who um, wouldn't say something to hurt you. 12, 12 on the clock when I'm recording this today. So I will grab that angel number. That is beautiful. Thank you, spirit. Let's uh, let's see what else they're saying. I have a celebration. Look at this tent, the celebration, uh, taking time to appreciate the good things, happy days and a party. Now, the party's coming into me is possibly um, meeting somebody at an event, OK, or um, that they're ready to take you to an event like they're going to bring you as a date to a wedding or a family party or you're you, you know do you want to go to a birthday party with me do you want to go to an anniversary party with me um, but it, it did come into me as like we're ending up as a couple and we are um, going to you know getting all dressed up and going to some kind of celebration, you know, somebody's wedding in the family or friend. And it's kind of like our first appearance together. That's kind of fun. Uh, home, sweet home, making a good home, a life, settling down, a marriage, a lasting love. I love this time to celebrate. Okay. 
you know, I know all of us are manifesting this. I know that we, we deserve this true love, this mature love. Um, we deserve a happy home. We, we deserve that, you know, we have this partner in life that we celebrate life's events, right? Whatever they are. And we create a life together. And, and that's, I feel like with spirits, and I love this, like this is jumping out at me down here, just this feeling of lasting love, just this energy of, you know, this is, we're going to be together and we're going to go through these life events together. And, you know, there'll be celebrations and there'll be, there'll be sadness. There'll be things that will be difficult as in any, any um, relationships, but there'll be more celebrations than there will be sadness. And, you know, and that's what I feel like spirit wants you to know, like just this beautiful of, you know, sense of we have this kind of whole opportunity ahead of us, this whole future ahead of us. Beautiful. Did I just say future? <laughs> Thank you, spirit. For those of you that, that, um, haven't ever watched me. It's a little game spirit and I play. You guys know I'm a psychic. I'm a medium. And I love my cards. I swear to God, my cards talk to me. And there's a lot of times in my readings where I'll say something and then it shows up in my cards. So that was fun. I loved that. Um, the future, finding a long term harmonious relationship right? This is the future. I love this. I have a celebration coming into my future. You know, like it's as simple as that. Like, are you my future? You know, coming soon. I like, I, I love soon. I love the word soon. But I also like this feeling of like coming soon. Okay, here comes this person. And I've got, you know, this celebration coming into my future, you know, like time to celebrate, right? So I, I love that. That was really fun. I really loved the, I love, you know, Spirit and I have a little world going on all by myself here in my reading room. <laughs> you know, I don't know what, what, what's happening here, but a celebration moving into our future it is beautiful. I think that's wonderful. But let's see what else they have to say today for you. Spirit, tell me more. What is it about this connection? I want to know. I want to hear. I have a ton of pentacles abundance. I also like this little guy climbing the ladder because it's feeling of it just keeps getting better and better. I keep going higher and higher. You know, it's a feeling of, of contentment, but it's constantly growing. And there's a sense of we're achieving goals or we achieve things together. But I do like that little guy um, climbing that ladder in that image. That was fun. I have a four of swords. Okay. So letting, I'm letting go. I'm letting go of something that no longer serves me. I've healed. I rejuvenated. I've had a chance to think about things spirit just said, and I've had a chance to be open and ready to receive. Right. So this feeling of time to heal, or I've been working on healing and now it's time to receive this kind of celebration moving into my future. That's coming soon. Here is this page of wands. I love this. It's like riding in on a magic wand. Um, but it is, a, is it is a feeling of passion, just kind of, I don't know, I want to say like uh, cruising into you, you know, just moving towards you. And I have a two of cups. Beautiful. So what did they say in the beginning with the first two of cups? I mean, I love when I get multiple messages in different decks because it's I finally have found you. Right. I finally found you. I found somebody I'm in, that I have feelings for. I found somebody that they have feelings for me. Uh, we have lots in common. Spirit just said uh, we're, we're connecting on a deeper level. Spirit just said. So there's there's a lot going on. How beautiful. Um, I have temperance. I love this. I look at this big, gorgeous infinity symbol right here. And these books are jumping out at me. Um, you know, just in a sense, one, your person could be a very avid reader, um, intellectual, um, constantly not, I don't even know if they're necessarily reading on books all the time, but they could be reading on their phone all the time. They're looking at news. They're looking at, um, 
reports, but I feel like this person just likes to get their arms around like a lot of current events or knowledge, or they just keep up on things. Um, but those books did jump out at me. So this is somebody who's very knowledgeable, very wise, very uh, kind of bright. So um, I like that, that, that feeling of somebody who's kind of, you know, keeping up with everything. I have a Knight of Pentacles, beautiful, working hard. It, they did just use the word studying with me. So this could be somebody who between the books and the working hard and studying word, uh, this could be somebody who's doing an advanced education. They're going to school at night. They've gone back to school. They work full time and go to school at night for an advanced education, something along those lines. So, or that could be you, but um, so there's something going on around that with me today. I also have an eight of swords. So you can see my hands are tied. Now, you know, sometimes we get stuck, right? I'm not, I'm not a big believer in stuck energy and blocked energy because I, I feel like we are always in perpetual movement. And I do try to help people privately with moving their energy and shifting their energy. Um, but you do sometimes feel like I just have to pick myself up, right? Like this is, a, I have to pick myself up energy. I have to figure out a way to make myself feel better. And sometimes we, there's nobody else that can do it for us, but us. And that's sometimes the hardest part, but you can, you can, you can heal, you can change your mind, you can change your routine and your behaviors and you can change your diet. You can change your exercise routine. There's a lot of things that you can do just to physically shift your energy so that you feel better about yourself and that you are you don't ever feel like your hands are tied and that you're not moving forward in the life that you want to lead. So um, take the step. OK, whatever the step is for you, like today's the day that I'm going to start a new exercise routine just to increase my metabolism and maybe lose a few pounds, you know, like take the first step because it's the nobody's going to do it for you. Nobody's going to do it for you. I have a six of swords. So you've got to move on in some area of your life. And even if it's it has nothing to do with a relationship. It could be your feelings about yourself. It could be, I have to pick myself up, right? And we all go through that. I mean, I don't know anybody who is like perfect all the time, right? So you have to sometimes say to yourself, like, I've just got to pull myself out of something. So if you feel like you have to pull yourself out of something, today's the day. Take the first step to feeling better. Take the first step to doing something to take action to feel better and you know and then the rest will follow so this is going to somebody who i have a three of swords here and i feel like my life is in chaos and and i've been struggling with that i, I feel like you know everything around me has been kind of a little bit of a chaos right blown out of proportion and and something happened but Today's a good day to lift yourself up and pick yourself up and, and know that, you know, bottom of the deck, I have the world that I'm going to be okay. Bottom of the deck, I have a knight of cups. I'm definitely going to be okay. I'm going to be okay with, you know, somebody new coming into my life that, you know, what did they say? They keep saying, I finally found you. And then they have these beautiful messages today for you about, um, you know, celebrating, you know, moving, coming soon, like that coming soon energy into my future, 1222 on the clock. So we've got uh, 1212 and 1222, 222. So the angel numbers are, um, are really, um, you know, talking to us as well. So here you are, you know, like here you are, right? Here you are and it's up to you, Spirit just said. It's up to you to make some choices and to decide what it is that you want today. I'm going to ask Spirit a, a yes or no question. Um, I want you in your mind today to ask, um, what is the best thing for my future self? What is the best thing for me? 
Um, what do you have coming for me? I want you to ask yourself a personal question and let's, let's ask spirit to give you your answer. So take a moment, take a deep breath, meditate, close your eyes for a second and ask yourself what it is that you want to ask spirit. And oh, my whole body is tingling. Um, okay. So some of you've got some really specific questions to ask today. Let's, uh, let's see what your answer is going to be. Spirit, please provide our answers for anyone who has a specific question today. What is it that you need them to know? I am listening. Please share with me. What is it that you want them to know? I have big, happy changes. Arms wide open. Arms wide open. I love that. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get another one. I have the answer is yes. The answer is yes. That's, this energy is pretty good. I'm going to take it. I am going to claim this energy today for sure. And I have listened to your intuition. So I don't know about you guys, but this was a beautiful reading. I hope you appreciated it. I hope you um, enjoy it. I'm so grateful that you were here to share this with me. I want to thank Spirit for these messages, as always. For those of you that are new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for your kind words and comments always. If anyone would like to book a private reading, I'll put my website in the link below, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.